Lars for First Zoom TV, we're here at Broadcom at Computex and they're going to show us some of their new products. Uh, specifically, we're going to start with some 5G Wi-Fi products here and we get Dina with us here from Broadcom who's going to give us a quick introduction to these new products. So what are we looking at here? Sure. So what I wanted to show you here is we have actually some of our customers' products uh, on Showcase. So here, as an example, we've got a um, media server from Netgear along with their latest 5G Wi-Fi routers. Th th this product just launched, right? Just launched, right? And what you're seeing here is we're actually transmitting from a, store, from a server here over the air to that other uh, endpoint, and we're actually simultaneously transmitting four videos, high-def videos, on, on these TVs that you're watching. So th this is all happening simultaneously? Yes, it is, and especially in a very congested Wi-Fi environment that, like we have here, because we've got probably about 200 different uh, routers running simultaneously in the, in the area. So I think this is one of the things that was shown in the keynote, one of the things that really showcases the power of 5G Wi-Fi because of the tremendous bandwidth that you can deliver. And even though it's a short distance, it's a very congested environment, so it gives you a very fair indication of what the, uh, you know, what you could expect in a whole home environment. So prior to the standard launching, this required like very specific hardware because I've seen uh, there was, there's a company called Quantana. They were doing sort of something similar, but obviously much more limited than this. Yeah, I think what many competitors are doing prior to this is trying to squeeze out as much performance as they possibly could out of the older 11N standard. So looking at more antennas, looking at uh, the ability to do things like beam forming, all sorts of tricks to try to squeak out that last uh, you know, percentage of throughput. But with 5G Wi-Fi, you have to step function in terms of capability, and many of the functions that we're talking about that uh, in terms of being able to do error correction, in terms of doing beam forming, those are now standardized, built into the specification, and now we can take advantage uh, of those in a very uh, open and uh, interoperable environment versus having to re require uh, both endpoints to be you know, the same exact product. Right, because this is part of the new Wi-Fi specification. Absolutely, yeah. So th this can appear in all sort of consumer products over the next few years. Yes, we, we actually see the rollout, and I'll walk you down a little further, but we have some of the, mo the latest introduction. So a lot of the announcements you've heard so far have been with respect to uh, networking uh, routers. So one of the most, we're really, really excited at the show, at Computex, there was an announcement for, by ASUS, not only for their own router, but actually a motherboard that can be used in a variety of different platforms, in addition to the first laptop with integrated 5G Wi-Fi. So we expect more of those platforms to come out. But by the end of the year, we expect to see some high-end consumer electronics devices. And by Q1, we expect to see mobile products like phones and tablets to roll out with embedded 5G Wi-Fi. So what you're saying is we're going to get much, much faster Wi-Fi even in our sort of handheld devices. Very quickly. In the next, probably by this time next year, you should see a very rich ecosystem on both on the mobile and the consumer electronics front and the PCs embedding Wi-Fi, 5G Wi-Fi. Right, so let's move on and have a look at the next demo. Okay, fantastic. We're showing here, let me maybe step over here. Yeah. One of the things we're showing here are is the recent announcements by ASUS. So we've got the ASUS router, and this is really important because we're actually showing the ASUS laptop, and we're running a live, over-the-air uh, demonstration where we're actually able to get 424 megabits per second in this environment being received by a, uh, now this is not a 3x3 three three router solution, this is in fact a 2x2 two two client solution. So this is very, it's tremendous capability. So what, what does that mean to sort of a consumer? So to a consumer what that would mean is, uh, in layman's terms, when we talk about 3x3 three three versus 2x2, two two, it's a number of independent radio chains that are being, that are simultaneously transmitting or receiving. But the way you should look at it is the more radio change, the higher the aggregate throughput you can receive or transmit. So in client applications like a PC, typical implementation, or a TV for that matter, typical implementation might be a, a two a two by two solution, which is basically lower aggregate throughput, but you don't necessarily need, if you look at it, so getting something like 500 megabits per second is a step function over what you can get today. On a TV, you'd probably see the same kind of application. On a tablet, you might see the same. For a cell phone, you might only see one stream because it's a very small form factor. Right, because right, the antennas take out space and you can only put so much inside a phone. 
Absolutely. And then you also need to have some, in order to get the benefits of multiple streams, you need to have the ability to have a separation of the antennas. And with a, a mobile form factor, it's, it's quite hard to do that. Right. Yeah. So uh, this is something that we're very excited about. In addition to uh, the last piece of the ASUS announcement has been this uh, motherboard solution. Now this can be certainly fit into a PC, and this is with 5G Wi-Fi that's built into the motherboard. So the benefit here is now this can be applied to any number of uh, standard uh, product solutions without having to do any custom design. So this allows for very quick proliferation into other form factors beyond laptops. So this is just an add-on module, right, that, you, that the notebook manufacturer would put in their product? So for a uh, laptop solution, yes. What you're seeing here, though, is actually a complete solution that someone could put into an enclosure and start shipping with software. Right. right. So this is uh, you know, just the beginning of some of this evolution of the ecosystem. We've had announcements from uh, a number of our other partners like Buffalo, Belkin, uh, and we expect to see many more of these uh, platforms uh, launch in the next couple of months. Uh, Net Netgear were your first partner to launch a USB dongle, right? Absolutely. Netgear was the first to announce both a router and a USB dongle. Uh, Buffalo was the first to ship in high volume. And, uh, and, and certainly uh, every one of these players are going to be offering a more expanded line of products as we move forward. All right. Cool.